How to install invisible shelves. Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. Even if you have no sense of style, you can make your pad look fresh on the cheap with one simple sacrifice. The largest, least loved book you own. You will need an L bracket, a utility knife, a drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, small wood screws, flathead, large wood screws, flathead, a tape measure, glue, books to shelve, a big book that you'll never read again but looks good on the wall. Step one, where's the middle? Open the sacrificial book's back cover and use your tape measure to find the halfway point. Make a mark on the page, then trace the bracket from the mark out. Step two, cut the book. Use your utility knife to cut into the pages of the book, following the outline of the bracket. You can toss the excised text to the wind. Cut deep enough so the back cover of the book can be closed tight against the pages. Then use your knife to make a notch in the book edge for the L bracket. This way, the book can sit flush against the wall. Step three, drill and screw. Drill through the holes in the L bracket. Secure the L bracket in place by screwing together the pages of the book. The pages will rise up the screw as you insert it, so use your hand to hold the pages down. Then drill two holes near the outside corners of the book, one on each side, and secure the pages by inserting screws into the holes. Step four, glue. Cover the inside back cover of the book in glue and close it. Place a stack of books or some other type of weight on top. Now let it dry, overnight. Cheating this step is not advisable. Step five, sleep it off. We know you're excited, but just wait. Really, it'll be worth it. Step six, mounty hunter. Figure out where you want the books to go and find the stud. Do this by knocking on the wall until you hit a solid point. Another way to find a stud is to get a stud finder. Now mount the bracket to the wall using the large wood screws. Step seven, stack them high. Find your favorite, most intellectually and artistically impressive books and stack them up high enough to cover the bracket, largest to smallest, and let your friends try to figure it out. Done.